Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Starting off, I'm applying the MAC Painterly Paint Pots all over my eyes. I'm taking a fluffy brush and then I go in with my fingers. I feel like this method works best for me because it warms up the product and it melts it with the warmth of my fingers. So it just makes it easier to apply. Next, I'm going to go in with my RCMA No Color Powder and I'm setting the entire lid. This is going to prevent any creasing from any shadow. I don't know how I feel about this powder yet. Let me know your opinions if you like it or not because kind of not feeling it. I'm going to take this shadow from the Juvia's Place palette. I will have the name of the palette listed down below. I'm applying that with a fluffy Coastal Scents brush all over the upper crease. I don't have a defined crease so I kind of have to make my own as I go. Make sure that you start with a little bit of products and then work your way up. That way you don't have too much product at one time and struggle with the blending. Now I'm going to dig in into my humongous palette. This is Give Me Glow Cosmetics Extra Extra Large Palette. I'm taking these two shades by Luxie Beauty. Again, I will have the name listed down below. And I'm going to start onto the outer crease, applying as much color as I can, and then going in and blending it out. I'm taking this brush by Morphe. I recently picked it up and it is life-changing. Don't sleep on it, guys. If you struggle with defining your crease, this is where it's at. I do like to go back a few times and reapply the shadow because as I blend, I do lose some intensity. So make sure that you go back and you pack on your shadows so they can be nice and vibrant. After that, I'm going to go back into the MAC Painterly Paint Pot and I'm taking just a flat um, definer brush and we are cutting the crease. You guys have seen me do this a million times. This is a half cut crease look, which is what I've been rocking lately. If you guys want to see something more detailed, definitely let me know and leave me a comment down below. But yeah, it's pretty much self-explanatory. Also, a quick tip, if you struggle with defining your crease, do what I do and just tug at your lid a little bit. If, again, you don't have that defined crease like other people do, I don't, so I do have to pull at my eye just a tad bit. Going back to that palette, I'm taking this shade right here. It's more of a turquoise with some brown undertones, very pretty color. I'm applying that with a Wet n Wild brush. I really packed it on, and this is without me actually wetting the eyeshadow so that tells you how pigmented it is going back with that orange shade and I'm applying that to the outer crease I want to make sure that those shadows are blended and that there is no harsh lines now I'm going to go in with glitter this has been my favorite glitter so far it is by Janelle cosmetics I will have the name listed down below I also use the city color cosmetics glitter glue it's the bomb you guys again don't sleep on it it's really really good and it's so easy to just pick up the glitter and apply it to the eyes for my eyeliner you guys know that I do not use anything else besides NYC but unfortunately it is not being sold in the US anymore so mama has to jump on another bandwagon let me know in the comment section down below Hello. what is your favorite eyeliner now I'm going to pick up a little bit of this black shadow just a tiny bit and I'm literally just dabbing it out to the outer corners of the eyes I wanted a little bit more smokiness going on so I just applied the tiniest amounts and then started blending it in this brush just really helped me to disperse the colors right where I wanted them I did have to go back with my eyeliner and fix it because the shadow was messing it up a little bit as you can see here but it's not a problem I just went back and fixed it now for my lashes, I use these by the brand Lash Pop called On The Perp. Super pretty, super dramatic, very thick lashes. Now for my eyeliner, I'm taking this one by ColourPop. I don't know the name, but again, I will have it listed down below. This one reminds me a lot of the MAC Costa Riche eyeliner, if you guys are familiar with that. It's a very pretty brown, except this one has a little bit more of a purple undertone. I did go back with a pencil brush and I applied the same colors by the brand Luxie Beauty which went onto the crease and I just smoked out the lower lash line I wanted something pretty dramatic so that's what I did now I'm going with this white blue eyeshadow and I'm applying that to the inner corners of the eyes this just makes the eyes pop so much I absolutely love to add this detail for my highlight I took this one by Ofra Cosmetics in the shade Rodeo Drive and this one by Maybelline and as you can see it created the most gorgeous highlights ever. Super blinding, super iridescent, I just really love this combo. Now for my lips I went with the new Rimmel London Stay Matte Liquid Lipsticks. I mix latte and mocha. I applied mocha first and then I went in with latte. Latte is very light so I just applied it to the center of the lips to give the impression that I have fuller, poutier lips. And that completes this makeup look. I really hope you guys enjoy it. Leave me a comment and a thumbs up. I love you guys and I will see you in my next video. Bye.